Continue with the introduction to XR. So far we've considered cell referencing, formula, functions, absolute and relative cell referencing, named ranges, sorting data into ascending and descending order. We'll now consider the use of auto filter, formatting cells for borders, dates, numbers, currency, etc., and formatting the font. Sometimes it's useful to be able to filter data. So we start by going to the data tab on top and then we select filter and now we have the auto filter on. I'm going to go in this example to department by ticking select all I will clear all of the, the ticks and I'm going to look for everyone in English and geography and now I've filtered according to English and geography and we see down here I have 5 of 28 records found. This top one, biology, is just where the, the auto filter is on. And that's auto filter. I can clear filter in this fashion. And we'll now look at some formatting options available to us. I'll squeeze this down a bit. We already see here that we've used angled text by selecting this one. The orientation formatting for all data can be accessed through highlighting the data you wish to format, selecting right mouse click, and format cells. Once in there, the format cells box comes up. We can select number, general, we can select the data type or the number of decimal places, currency, whether or not we have the pound sign or the euro or the dollar, accounting date, various date options, time options, percentage options, the decimal places showing fractions, signs, scientific, and text. We can also select alignment options such as wrap text and merge cells. This is how we angled the text. We'll set it back here. We can select our various font styles available to us and sizes, color, borders, we can click on the borders here, give ourselves grid lines, and we can select fill colors for ourselves and even protection. The quickest way is to use the quick formatting tabs up here. So if I select this top row of text, I may wish to increase the font size, change the color of the text, perhaps give it a background to shade it, if I select all of it, I may wish to put the grid lens on down here, borders, and perhaps even a thick border around the entire thing. Let me highlight these columns, and I can double click in between, and that'll resize my columns. This top bit here, I want to pull it out. And on this particular one, I have applied word wrap using this button here. That allows pupil number to wrap around. And here, I need to move over for my department. So that's word wrap. And here, if I want to take the angled alignment off, I can highlight it, right mouse click, format cells, come to alignment, and here we go. Okay move this out this way. What I can also do is I can align the data here. If I make this wider, we zoom in we'll see I have an option to bring it to the top, to the center, to the bottom, to the left, to the center, and to the right. I can also combine these. Center center brings it to the middle here. So that's some basic formatting. We'll look at some more formatting in the next video.